Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Second FM. Today we are looking at Enrique Araujo. I'm definitely butchering that. He's a Portuguese 20 year old sitting with Watford right now, but on loan to Benfica. Rated at 3.1 to 9.2 million, 5.5k per week as a regular starter. Uh, he does have 821 caps though. He is a striker who can, I will see if he pushes it down to that AMC role a little bit as his career progresses. But mentally, he's doing pretty nicely. Physically as well. I mean, it, obviously, I love acceleration and pace, as we have all seen. Uh, 13, 12, not too bad. I would like it a little higher. But dribbling, finishing, first touch, all pretty nice for a 20-year-old. Uh, he's got some really good numbers, and I really want to see how he grows. If we look at his milestone-wise, you can see he's senior club debut, scored his first goal, UEFA Youth League winners, Portuguese second league top goal scorer, third place and Portuguese second league young player of the year. So he has worked his way up the ranks uh, and made the move to Watford. But we're going to see in the next 10 years where he ends up and how he looks. the tail end of the 2033 season as you can see he's moved to Zenit he's wanted by Norwich back to the Premier League and he has moved around quite a bit uh, his stats some of them have grown finishing a 15 is fantastic uh, he's got a 15 a penalty taken I know that's grown uh, pace of 13 so his physicals are not too bad I mean agility of 15 is wonderful as his balance but mentally he's doing fairly well some technicals have raised. Uh, he's got no defensive work. He has moved it up to that AMC role, though. Like I, like I said, uh, corners, you don't really care. Free kick taking, you don't really... I mean, he would be wonderful if he did. He just doesn't. Long throws, you don't care. Marking, you don't care. Tackling, you don't care. Position of eight, not great. So there are a couple of numbers that you wish would have come up a little bit more. But overall, I, see, I still think he's looking pretty nice, especially for a 31-year-old. So his potential is a negative 8.5, which means at the start of the save, he can be anywhere from 140 to 170 uh, as a fixed potential when your stri save starts. And 140, not too bad. I mean, can play as a squad player, maybe in some of the top teams, definitely for mid table, lower table, uh, but 170 can definitely be up there and doing very well. Contracts are again, Zenit, 11 and a half to 34 million, 88,000 per week, regular starter. So Russian Premier League, he's lighting it up. 17 goals, 5 assists at 7-3-1. So he's doing fairly well. So let's take a look at his career stats. As you can see, he started out at Maritimo in Portugal, moved to Benfica on a free, uh, all the way to Watford on loan, Watford again on loan, back to Benfica, off to Darmstadt on loan again, back to Benfica, partisan, FK partisan, uh, moved on an actual permanent transfer, 2.2 million, then moved on a permanent transfer, Permanent transfer again to Russia was 6.25 and has been there ever since. Looking at Zenit just quickly, I wanted to see if they're in or around Champions League. As you can see, they were first place for numerous seasons. And then sadly, in the last two seasons, have just completely dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if that's because of Araujo and, and the fact that he's getting older uh, or the team itself. But overall, he looks pretty nice so far. If we look at his milestones, you can see Russian Premier Division head coaches select. Uh, a lot of Zenit with a lot of cup winners. Russian Premier Division top goal scorer, runner-up. Russian Player of the Year, third place. Uh, so he's got a lot of third place and second place runner-ups. Russian Premier Division top goal scorer, there you go, in 2031. So he's got a lot of individual trophies or runners-up. Uh, he's got a lot of personal or team trophies, Russian Premier League champions and all of that. But unfortunately, that's about it. He doesn't have any Champions League or Europa League or anything like that. Injury-wise, he really doesn't seem to have a lot. I mean, he does have a lot of moderates when he does get something. But overall, it could be moderate. It could be slight or minor. But uh, nothing too huge to worry about. But, you know, he's going to pick up something here and there. I looked quickly at tactics, and he's only being used as a striker. So we're not going to worry about that. But in the next uh, couple of years, he's going to retire. Is he going to stay in Zenit, or is he going to actually move back? Is he going to get that uh, move to Norwich and move back to the Premier League? We will find out in just a minute. So at the end of the 2036 season, at least for Europe, he, this seems to be his last season. Uh, his contract expires in a year, but he's no longer in the database in the 2037 season. 
only 34 years old. I mean, he still looks okay. I wouldn't say he's a world beater, but he's looking pretty good. Definitely could have played longer. I don't know what happened and why he's no longer in the database, not even as a coach or a wannabe coach or a head of youth development or anything like that. Uh, you could see he is with El Shabab or Shabab al Hawi. Uh, so that's where he moved after Zenit in 34 to 36. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You can see he moved on for 2.3 million, did very well the two seasons he was there. Uh, no clue why he actually is not playing anymore. Uh, career milestones, he got one Asian Champions League top goal scorer. And that was the season before his final season. So uh, Zenit, best 11s, Russian Premier Division top goal scorer. So I, I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. But I mean, I still think he looks pretty nice for a 34-year-old. Has zero caps, unfortunately, for the Portugal national team. But you know what? That's the life and times of Enrique Araujo. And that's what happens in FM23. You just get this player who's pretty good. I mean, I won't, again, I won't say world beater. I won't say a Messi or Ronaldo or something like that. Uh, but definitely, I think, could have played in the top leagues. Definitely could have played in the top teams of those leagues. At least squad player, if not a regular starter, for a couple of seasons. And then he just fades to obscurity. But... That's what happens. I am Stephanie FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.